I guess we can start. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Pavlos Varsatskos. I'm your host. Um, this is Prometheus and the Ecosystem Community Call. Uh, this call is being recorded. Uh, so basically, and, and will be published on YouTube. So be nice to one another. We also follow TNCF Code of Conduct here. Today, we also have a co host, Matthias. I guess he's, he's not in yet. But anyway, we have today we have a couple of uh, announcements. One is from Prometheus. Um, Julian, do you want to cover that? Uh, yes. So uh, there is a new uh, release of Prometheus that is coming up, the 2.16, which is ready to be tested. Uh, the release is delayed at the moment because we could not run Prometheus uh, just like we wanted, but uh, I guess that will be fixed very soon. Cool. So quick update from Prometheus side. Thank you. Does anyone have any questions? Do you want to highlight a couple of uh, things that are being released in this release? So uh, we have a new query log. We have a new local uh, timestamp uh, available in the new React UI. There has been a lot of work in the new React UI again. Uh, and there is a new PromQL function also. And the rest, there is a lot of uh, memory improvements as well. Very cool. Thank you for sharing. Aren't all the memory improvements in the previous release? I don't think we did much there in this one. No, we didn't. Maybe you should mention that. Yeah, I'm covering a bit of this, but uh, yeah, uh, the the block loading thing is is worth mentioning for sure. Yeah, th but that was in two fifteen. Like, in fact, there were definitely performance improvements in two sixteen, um, especially around reloads and making it more efficient. But I don't think we did um, some performance improvements in querying but the big memory improvements from the previous release, unless I've missed something. Yeah. Uh, yes, you missed something. Uh, we improved the queries that only touch the most recent two hours of data. Oh, yeah, yeah, my change. Although your other one, if we're st still waiting on the one to, that you took off from me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, what we're talking about is uh, I put in a change that if you have a query which only touches the head block and nothing else, it avoids a whole pile of sorting we don't need because it's only touching the head block. And so if you're touching a million series, it's like a second faster. Yeah. Um, so, but however, if the query touches the head block and anything else, it's the same speed as always. And there's no difference for things that only touch normal blocks because they didn't ever need to be sorted anyway. And then hopefully in the next release again, like because that's mostly useful for recording rules that don't need to go back an hour. Um, hopefully Julian has a change that will uh, help in high churn scenarios uh, when that sorting is involved. Should we mention something that we are heavily working on, um, like Ganesh is doing um, about flashing uh, certain chunks from head to um, to disk and mmap it. So essentially uh, reducing memory consumption for head blocks enormously, and that should land in next release, hopefully. That is awesome. Um, does anyone else have any questions or comments? If not, then we can move on around uh, news around Thanos. Cool. Um, so hello, everyone. It's Bartek Plotka here. I'm Thanos and Prometheus Maintainer. So this is like a quick update on um, from Thanos team. Last and next releases, we are really focused on the stability and cost optimizations for using Thanos system. Um, and we made huge progress uh, already, which you, take a, which you can take advantage of right now. So first of all, thanks to the fact that good amount of code we kind of reuse from uh, Prometheus, we directly import that code. So the fixes that were done in with the improvements that, that were done in Prometheus 2.15, uh, 
which improved memory consumption for compaction, uh, directly mapped into, into improvements for Thanos because we literally use the same code uh, for compaction. So the newest release, the 0 0.10.1, has, has amazing improvements uh, there as well. And I think it's fair to say that open source is amazing because like, it allows us to reuse so much and help each other. And uh, it was so easy. I just updated the, Tano, the, the Thanos, um, well, the Prometheus dependence in Thanos, and, and that's it. So at the end, uh, we have almost constant memory usage. Can we say that? Probably, probably not. But like, definitely reduce memory usage of compaction process of the you know compactor component in, in Thanos, uh, which is crucial because Thanos can users of Thanos usually have huge huge blocks to work with, sometimes almost up to terabyte size. Um, and in the same release, we also fix potential race condition that can uh, trigger some data loss. So. Uh, make sure to update compactor, at least compactor to the newest version should be should be seamless. Um, and second thing worth mentioning is that in the next release, and something that is already implemented in the latest master of Thanos, is the store gateway improvement. So we designed a, and rewrote um, the, the block loading mechanisms um, that you, you store, you know, store gateway starts up and load the, the things from the object storage. Um, certain power, parts that are needed for the for the functionality. So we wrote on, rewritten this path directly. Uh, it was using like something like index cache JSON, and now we are kind of following good patterns of Prometheus, and we are um, actually using bespoke uh, binary format, and we are using mmap process uh, to efficiently um, load those things on startup. So it it should enormously reduce. Um, memory consumption and also uh, startup time because suddenly you don't need to download huge index files uh, because it just picks uh, the things that are really required for StarGrade to run. So you can uh, increase uh, your uh, kind of startup synchronization parallelism, like there is an option for that. And, um, and already some users um, report that he used to have like a store gateway with 150 gigabytes uh, using, and now it's using 40 gigabytes. I think it's still a bit too much, and I will be looking like on, on what's going on there. I think we can improve even that, but uh, this is the baseline memory that was, was reduced for a store gateway. And you can already use that. So if you grab the latest Docker image and, uh, and enable special flag that I'm adding to the um, notes, um, it will essentially use the new uh, kind of index header feature. And um, it's still experimental. We are working on tests and benchmarks, but it should be fully functional and working. So, I mean, don't run that maybe on like critical production, but uh, try it on your staging testing and, and let us know how it goes uh, because we are super excited about it. And yeah, that's it from me. Follow us on Twitter if you want like up to date the latest news as well. Um, thanks. Cool, thank you very much. Uh, does anyone have any questions? Cool, I guess that is it. Thank you, everyone. If you missed something, uh, recording will be available on YouTube. Um, yeah, thank you, everyone. I think we're done with the meeting. Oh, guys, see, see you. See you. Thank you, on thank you everyone. Meeting. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.